Since leaving port, the Professor Koganovsky has ventured off the southern coast of British Columbia and has started gathering research from that mysterious place salmon venture to when they go to sea. The theory is they head north into the Gulf of Alaska. To test that theory, the theme of 21 scientists from five nations started south and dropped their nets, uncertain if the fish stayed south or went north. The marker on the screen is the GPS location where the team started one of the most significant voyages of discovery about the life of salmon at sea. The seas were calm, the surface temperature hovering around minus 7. At 7 in the morning, they dropped the net. The catch was small, as expected. Just a few pink and chum salmon, some jellyfish, and what is believed to be a duck-billed eel. The main focus, however, was plankton. Plankton is a microscopic organism that is vital to the survival of salmon at sea and in coastal waters. That's expedition chief scientist Evgeny Pakamov dropping a bongo net, which tapers down to a fine mesh cup that allows for the capture of phytoplankton and zooplankton. In the cold winter water, the expectation is that plankton numbers will be low, even at the lower end of the expedition path. And, as was expected, this was the case. And over the course of the next five weeks at sea, the team will establish a lower limit and a baseline for comparison later in the spring and summer. This information is vital when it comes to establishing the capacity of the Gulf of Alaska to maintain the lives of salmon. If the warming event is still happening, then the composition of the plankton will provide insights into the impact future warming will have on the food supply for salmon. Russian scientist Anna Vasova says plankton also plays a vital role in the production of oxygen. Majority of the oxygen that we breathe is not coming from forests, but it produced here in the ocean by phytoplankton. It's important information, and it's important that the process of documenting and analyzing the data is consistent on both sides of the Pacific. Working with the same set of scientific principles will accelerate understanding. You will accelerate the development of programs that will play a role in the health and help to ensure robust salmon populations.